Quinn came into this world a vibrant little boy who quickly lit up any room that he was in from the time he was born. He was always filled with that little boy passion for mud, trucks, animals, friends, and family. You could immediately see as Quinn got older that he had a heart and passion for people and the compassion that he had was amazing. I was honored that God had chosen me to be Quinn's mom. I can remember in pre-K at Calvary when he got all O's on his report card, which represented outstanding. I remember finding that report card in the freezer one night, and I said, Q buddy, why is this in the freezer? He said, well, if I freeze it, then I'll always get good grades. Quinn found his passion for sports at a young age and was drafted to Mary Dahl Hartley Little League major at 10 years old. Baseball was clearly his passion. The day our lives turned upside down was January 17, 2018. Quinn was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury the next day as he had been struck in the head by another teammate during practice when he was in the huddle with the coach. The other child threw the basketball and it hit Quinn in his head. So when the accident first happened, it was bad. I had headaches every day, uh, every night. It woke me up sometimes and it was hard getting through that, but my family was there to help me through. And then when I got Calvary, Calvary helped me through. And of course, God helped me through. And it was a, a tough two years, but it ended up being for the good. I remember coming home from work on several occasions when my dad called me because Quinn was so sick. I screamed and cried on the drive home and asked God why he had let this happen to my son. The crazy thing is I had God always present in our home even before Quinn was born. However, I had taught him to worship earthly things, baseball being the biggest. I thought he was doing what he was called to do at that time. He was so great at it. He told me he prayed that ball into his glove as a catcher. And 95% of the time, it worked. And that gave me the excuse, where did we have time for church? Because our schedule was packed. Fast forward to four years later, a lot was accomplished in 2021. They say, let the children lead the way. And boy, has he. Quinn helped bring us both back to God and put God front and center in our lives. I thought I lost everything when I couldn't play sports anymore. But now that I've joined the tech team and do the lights and the cameras and the spotlights for the play, it is amazing. And the time just flies by there like there's no time at all. Serving is amazing every Sunday. Well, not every Sunday. Some Sundays I get up at seven o'clock to be there and it's just amazing to be there and it doesn't even bother me to get up early anymore because it's great to be there. Blessed, that's what I would say. Me and my family have become coming to Calvary and I thank God for that every day and Him bringing me here to the school and the church. Church feels like home now. There's no other place better to be. It was a long journey because, well, honestly, I was mad at God. I sat in church, arms crossed, driven to support Quinn in his journey. I remember listening to Pastor Ryan Sunday after Sunday, arms crossed. But one Sunday, Pastor Ryan said, God never promised us it would be easy, but he promised us he would never leave our side. I slowly started to worship him, lift my hands in prayer, pray for forgiveness, tell him I was sorry for being angry at him, and to ask for complete healing for my son. I started to pray for others like I never had before, for myself and for a new path forward. You see, I grew up in church. I knew God, I loved God. I was taught to love God and read the Bible, but I had just lost my way big time as an adult, especially when Quinn got hurt. All this to say, God didn't take Quinn's dreams from him or let this happen to him, but he has now helped him find new ones. God never left our side nor closed the door. I believe he directed us right to where we needed to be. 
Now I look forward to sitting in my church pew way down in front. We were even called in our hearts to be baptized in 2021. We both experienced the same experience in Pastor Ryan's hands where we both felt weightless. It was just weightless and you just felt yourself get washed clean. I am also learning to forgive myself because when Quinn got hurt, I was standing right there. I used to question myself. Why didn't I call his name? Why didn't I jump in front of that ball myself? After all, it was my job to protect him because he was my, my most treasured gift, gifted by God. It was all like an old time movie though. It happened so slow, but so quick. What has filled me with even more immense pride is watching Quinn grow into the godly man that he has grown into since we have joined Calvary. My dream now is to get a worship minor and become a SWAT officer to help people and mentor to the lost. Just go to Jesus when you feel alone and pray to Him and He will always bring people to you and He will equip you and the people He brings to you will equip you. Jesus' sacrifice means everything to me because we owe Him everything and He owes us nothing and He still decides to bless us over and over again and forgive us over and over again. I will be forever grateful to Quinn for not only wanting to get himself closer to God, but wanting me to walk hand in hand with him on that journey. We continue to wait patiently to receive all God's blessings for ourselves, our family, our church family, and our community. Our side note would be, where would we even fit baseball at this point? Glove, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's probably where you slam some balls, huh? Um, I'd say it's amazing how Jesus can change everything. Uh, I thought I would never be able to walk back on a baseball field, let alone with him. And, you know, today I know we're just having fun, um, but still just to be able to be blessed enough to um, walk on this path with Quinn and witness his journey. Um, not only has God helped me heal my heart, but Quinn's helped me heal my heart. And just being able to pitch to him today just shows me that just God can change everything if you just keep your faith and he'll bring you back because I was I was in a dark spot and and between Calvary and finding my faith in God and it I just my heart feels lighter and uh, not quite as angry any, anymore like it was when he first got hurt.